What's up, cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about a trio of new cereals from General Mills. It seems like General Mills releases a swath of new cereals around this time of year every year now. They make the announcement in the fall and then they slowly roll them out. Instead of dedicating a video to each individual cereal, I feel like we can cover each one here and instead save other videos for other cereals that I haven't covered yet. We only have so many of these cereal time videos left before the end, gotta consolidate. First up, let's talk about new Hot Wheels cereal. Now, this is the first Hot Wheels cereal from General Mills, but it isn't the first time we've had a Hot Wheels cereal. Back in 1990, Ralston released the Hot Wheels cereal, and in this one, they even came with the free Hot Wheels car inside, which just shows how far we've fallen in 30 years. They'd never give away a prize like this in a box anymore because the companies are just too cheap. Anyway, so this was the first Hot Wheels cereal we got back in 1990. Then in 2006, Kellogg's released their version of Hot Wheels cereal. This one was less creative in shape and didn't come with the free car inside. I made a more in-depth video about both of these older Hot Wheels cereals. You can check that one out if you want to take a trip down memory lane. But today we're discussing this new version of Hot Wheels cereal from General Mills. So this box is kind of cool. You got the Hot Wheels logo there and then you got a bunch of Hot Wheels cars there. Obviously there's no free car inside. And it makes sure to tell you that if you look really closely here, it says toy not included just in case you thought they'd give away a free car. You can see the cereal here kind of resembles the 2006 Kellogg's version of Hot Wheels cereal. They're just little Cheerio-like rings and then car-themed marshmallows, I guess. It looks like they got a flame here, a lightning bolt, and then a red circle with a blue star in it. Those aren't really car-themed, but I guess they're kind of Hot Wheels-themed. All right, let's take a look at the back of this box here. So this is a Hot Wheels Town car wash that you can cut out and fold together to make a dinky little cardboard car wash. On the side of the box, it gives you instructions on how to make it and has these two little cardboard cars you can cut out and use in your car wash. Anyway, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of new Hot Wheels cereal from General Mills looks like. You can see the corn loops, they're bigger than Cheerios. They got three Hot Wheels themed marshmallows there. Very loosely Hot Wheels themed. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. So it's just like a fruity cereal with marshmallows. The fruit flavor is kind of citrusy, a little like Fruit Loops adjacent. I like the flavor. It's better than some of the other General Mills licensed cereals like Space Jam cereal or something like that. It's kind of hard for me to pinpoint the flavor, but it definitely tastes like something I've tried before in the past. It could just be Fruit Loops that I'm thinking of. I don't really eat Fruit Loops that often. Anyway, it tastes fine, but this cereal lacks creativity and imagination, so... I'd rather just buy myself a little Hot Wheels car than a box of this Hot Wheels cereal. Okay, moving on to the next new General Mills cereal. This is Lucky Charms S'mores. So as you've heard me say before, S'mores Crunch from General Mills from way back in the day is the best s'more cereal of all time. Nothing's ever gonna top that, but I always enjoy a good s'more cereal, so I'm happy to see Lucky use some magic to bring us this new flavor. So as you can see from the box here, it's just chocolate Lucky Charms pieces that are made out of corn instead of the superior oat recipe of actual Lucky Charms. And then you have these little golden gram pieces here, as well as some little white circular marbits. Now from the bowl down here, you can also see that you have regular Lucky Charms marshmallows in there as well. They just wanna make sure you know this is the Lucky Charms cereal, which I wanna talk about briefly because it would be very easy to make other s'more cereals from other General Mills cereals. You could add these graham cracker pieces and the marbits to Cocoa Puffs and you'd have a s'more cereal. Or you could add these marshmallows and Cocoa Puff pieces to Golden Graham cereal and make a s'more cereal, which they kind of already did with the little snack pack of Golden Graham s'mores remix. But they probably decided to make this s'more cereal under the Lucky Charms umbrella because Lucky is so popular that this was the best way to market the mix of these ingredients. Golden Grahams and Cocoa Puffs maybe are not as splashy or popular as Lucky Charms. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box here. There's a drawing of Lucky and a unicorn roasting marshmallows over the campfire. It asks you to find Lucky Charms in the night sky and s'mores ingredients in the forest. It's a very simple and easy find the object game. Let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of new Lucky Charm S'mores cereal looks like. You can see the chocolate cereal pieces made of corn and the little golden gram pieces in there. And then I guess there's a good mix of the Lucky Charms marshmallows in there with those plain white ones. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. So it's a good flavor combo. I'm not mad at the s'mores flavor. No matter how many of these combo s'mores cereals they make, they always just make me reminisce for that old s'mores crunch. The best version is always gonna be chocolate golden grams with marshmallows. And not to sound like a broken record, but what makes Lucky Charms such a great cereal is the oat recipe. When you take that out and just make these flavored Lucky Charms out of corn, 
They're just another corn puff cereal. So I applaud the concept and the idea. Like I said, this isn't a terrible cereal. It's got chocolate, it's got graham crackers, it's got marshmallows, but I'd rather just stick with regular Lucky Charms. Or pour myself a bowl of golden grams and add some marshmallows and maybe a little drizzle of chocolate syrup. All right, on to the last new General Mills cereal, but maybe the most anticipated new one. This is IHOP mini pancake cereal. And you can see the flavor of this one is blueberry and syrup, which makes me think there might be other IHOP cereals in other flavors than blueberry and syrup, coming down the line. Anyway, I assume you all know what IHOP is. If you don't have an IHOP around you, if you've never been, I'm sorry. We've seen Dunkin' Donuts cereal, we've seen Wendy's Frosty cereal, so this is just another beloved restaurant chain taking their products to the cereal aisle. But I gotta say, I like it. We've really never had a pancake cereal before. Sure, there was the Cap'n Crunch blueberry pancake cereal, but those pieces were just like regular crunch berries flavored with blueberry and maple syrup. And that was a great cereal, don't get me wrong, but we've never really had a pancake cereal that was pancake in shape. And we've had plenty of waffle themed cereals over the years, so it just makes sense. Why not have a pancake cereal? You can see here on the box, the bowl here is sitting on a stack of pancakes there. And if you look closely, the cereal kind of resembles cookie crisp there in the bowl. I'm hoping those pieces are actually a little flatter than cookie crisp. We'll see in a second, but for now, let's take a look at the back of the box. Not much to see here. This one just has a IHOP mug with coffee next to the bowl of cereal. And then they have a little promo down here for the bank of pancakes. That's just IHOP's reward program. Anyway, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of IHOP's mini pancake cereal looks like. You can see the pieces do kind of just resemble cookie crisp with a bluish purplish berry color to them and little blue specks on them instead of the chocolate chip specks of cookie crisp. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. So it's got a nice berry and syrup flavor to it. I feel like it's almost more syrup than berry. It doesn't quite feel as sweet as that Cap'n Crunch blueberry pancake cereal. I like how these pieces are bigger and kind of resemble pancakes. I'm not sure exactly what I would change about it. It does kind of taste like blueberry pancakes with syrup. Maybe it could use just a little bit more sugar. I don't know. My biggest critique is I wish the pieces would actually resemble pancakes. These cookie crisp pieces are a little rounded, you couldn't stack them on top of each other like you would a stack of pancakes. But I do appreciate a pancake cereal. Way to go, General Mills. As I said before, maybe this is just the beginning and they give us more IHOP pancake cereals in different flavors. All right, well, that's gonna do it for these three new General Mills cereals. Which one are you excited to try the most? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. Like Dom says, I don't have friends, I have family. Size boxes of cereal. cereal.